Pope's tour to apologize to Canadian natives met with mixed reactions. Recently, Pope Francis apologized for the abuses done by missionaries within the residential school system run by Catholic staff for centuries in Canada. The abuse includes grave offenses such as familial separation, cultural genocide, systematic physical abuse by staff, childhood sexual abuse, and rampant medical negligence. According to many victims, even though they might no longer be around the abusive environment, the traumas remain and they keep on haunting those who were abused. In an official report from the Truth and Reconciliation Commission of Canada, released in 2015, um, listed 139 residential schools, primarily Catholic-run, which operated until the 1970s. The report found that a total of 150,000 students were sent to these residential schools and over 3,200 children died. Some residential school survivors welcome the apology and do not hold any anger towards Pope Francis himself, while others feel that the Vatican's actions do little to hold the abusers within the Catholic Church accountable. So I wanted to cover this story because over the past two years, I think it was really took off in, no, I think it was 2020 partially, um, over kind of this Canada having like a national re-reckoning with the history of the residential school system. And many of these were Christian schools that were state sponsored. So there are numerous Christian denominations across Canada who have a history of um, engaging or being part of the residential school system, which the government of Canada called this system in their official reports, a system of assimilation and cultural genocide. The Canadian government itself now recognizes this as cultural genocide. And during 2015, after this Truth and Reconciliation Commission, when this report came out, at the time, they officially recommended the Vatican to give a formal apology for this history. And so people have been advocating this for a long time, but even more since 2015 and trying again and again to get this apology. And they didn't think that they were gonna get an apology for a really long time. And then through 2020, 2021, there was this, all this reporting about finding mass graves on residential school sites that could amount to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of bodies. Um, and when that happened, that caught huge international attention. And many people are saying that that incident, you know, that happened within the past two years, the Pope's apology now probably wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for that incident. Um, recent discovery, so to speak. I mean, um, obviously, no? What? Obviously what? Like, if they hadn't found those things, the Pope's, like, apology wouldn't have happened? Yeah. I thought it was because they of They weren't making any effort moving towards that direction, any substantial okay. movement towards that direction for years preceding. And like I said, the government of Canada itself asked for an apology from the Vatican in 2015. No motion. You know, suddenly this happens. Why do you years. think, like, why do you think, like, they just, they just don't apologize? Like, wouldn't that be good for PR? Or like, hey, look, we like, if they just jumped on, like... If I was them, I'm like, look, I'll we apologizing so hard. Look how like, look how progressive. Look at how like, hard how, we're apologizing. Um, look at look how we're stepping ahead of anybody forcing us. Like, wouldn't that be good mm -hmm. PR? Uh, I don't know. Like, maybe for Catholics themselves, that's bad PR. Like, as a former Catholic, okay, what do you think, Suzy? It would would it look bad for because for us outsiders, it just seems like it would look. It might it might look good to outsiders if they like if they just apologize or just came in and made this trip without anybody forcing them right but it looks really bad when it seems like they had to do this but do, do they not uh, submit to this because to catholics themselves it looks kind of weak if they do it so i want to get into a little bit of history the catholic church had essentially no history of making these kind of papal penitences like mm. until after world war ii 
So essentially, oh, I wonder why. Yeah, one, oh, no. one thousand, one thousand and nine hundred years of history. This mm. has been the norm. Okay. And then mm. after World War II, and especially at, in the Soviet era, when there was a broader emphasis on human rights, then we started to see a lot more papal apologies that we've never seen before. And is it because one, of what they? Is it? Is it because they? they is they took the side of Adolf during World War II? Was that the reason why they were like, okay, we did such an oopsie here that we need to apologize? Among others, among others. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, so when it comes to, some people are speculating that the reason why Pope Francis didn't make an apology specifically for this sooner is because he had previously made an apology and done a trip to Latin America, done a trip to the Americas, and specifically already done an apology for the crimes and abuses of colonization. So in some ways, this question has already been, like the harms of colonization as facilitated by the Catholic Church in some ways has already been apologized for, you know? But this specific mm -hmm. residential school system wasn't being addressed specifically and a lot of people actually don't like the apology that the Pope gave because he did all these things, you know, he was kissing the hands of the elders. He, he wore, you know, like the, the war feather headdress as presented to him by elders, which people freaked out over. Um, yeah. I mean, why? I can understand why. <laughs> and, um, you know, he had all these, he did this tour, it had all these meetings, all these apologies, all the harms, you know, really you know, meeting with people firsthand, residential school survivors, but people are saying in the words that you're using, you are not using the words cultural genocide. You are not using the words like Christian assimilation. So you're not labeling what you are apologizing for. You know, you, you like, when you make an apology, it, it, a good apology has a lot of clarity and specificity about what went wrong that you are specifically responsible for that you are now expressing remorse over, right? So a lot of people found that to be lacking. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe Armin, you tell me if I am getting offended on behalf of other people, but when I saw Pope Francis wearing this Indian headdress, I was like, this is upsetting to me. <laughs> Okay, no, I actually think I I get it when I when people say cultural appropriation. Okay, when they go after things that they shouldn't be going, I get the sense now what they were supposed to go after are stuff like this. You know what I mean? Isn't this absurd? Like, yeah, I know it's kind of like like <laughs> it's it's basically this is what they were talking about, but they just overdid it. Mm -hmm. This is the ridiculous thing that, or like, like all things from the left, okay, it had a good start. It was addressing something that was legitimately needed to be addressed, okay, and then sometimes it just went overboard. And this is, uh, can you explain what the problem with this is, Susie, for people who don't might not get it? Like, okay, the way that this gets to me is I see a man who is literally supposed to embody the perfection of this organization that is responsible for facilitating colonization and genocide of indigenous peoples. Mm. <laughs> okay, so he's the, he's the manifestation of the holiness, the infallibility of that organization and ideology in and of itself, wearing the headdress of it, one of the most important symbols of power and respect within this community, one of the most revered ways of, of demonstrating someone's authority and their wisdom is by wearing this dress. So the dress of this people that his organization specifically tried to rid of practices like this, he is now like wearing as he's supposed to be there to apologize for the crimes that his organization committed. Yeah, the w the way I would say it is like, he, he, he we, we did genocide, but look, I have a feather hat on. Like, so we cool now, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, it's kind of like, it, it's like actions versus gestures. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. just like, I don't know, it cheapens it. And but it's just here's the thing. 
Yeah. Maybe I think I might be having an over leftisty reaction because yeah, maybe. he didn't just put this on himself. This was specifically given put to on him, him by no, but the okay, but no, elders. you're not, you're not having you're not having an over leftist reaction because I mean I, at least I'm not because I'm I am unlike what most leftists would say would say screw the other guy native guy who put this on him as well. Yeah, you know I mean I'm not. Like, <laughs> Like, I'm not like, oh, like, you know, respect the natives and like this European, you know, screw the European guy. Oh, well, this is Argentinian, right? Like, um, screw the symbol of imperialism and be pro, like, the native guy. I'm like, no, both of you, both the Pope and the native guy screwed up here. Like, what are you doing? Like, you're putting this, like, this, this is about children dying and you're like hey maybe put this hat on to act like this is all you know better now like how is this supposed to like i don't know it's kind of i don't know can i find an example I, I wanted to find an example but i think it would be we would really get a strike if i say what i want to say mm. you know what i mean mm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah i don't know i was like yeah. oh, this is this is messy if I was part of this community, I think I'd be extremely pissed. <laughs> I mean, I would, I would wear it if I had this, right? But I oh, would, I mean, I, would... I don't think anyone contends that it is a fantastic headdress. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you look I... like a freaking badass. Like no one is questioning that. Unlike this one, you no, look I like think... a dork. No, I like that one. No, I don't like this one. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um I guess I, I guess I guess it's just stupid if you if anybody thinks that this is meant to mean anything. Okay. Oh, completely. If it, you know, if if you're putting it on just like, hey, this looks cool. Let's see if I look good at it. Okay. Then it would be like, sure. All right. If anybody says that this is cultural appropriation, then put it on even harder. Okay, because screw them. Okay. Mm -hmm. But if you think that this is supposed to be um it fixing anything maybe 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 the guy the guy was just trying to humiliate him like <laughs> look i can make actually i was supportive i would support a native guy if he was trying to do this like you're 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 a bitch now okay you screwed up and <laughs> we're gonna just make you do things for us you know we're gonna, we're gonna make you tap hat. dance if we want yeah like i could put this hat on you and you have no choice but to accept it no, actually no, that would be all they're like actually would we would really like it if you could extradite some like bishops who committed some of these crimes so we could prosecute them we would like that that very much vatican so that's one thing that people were pointing out it's like well you haven't done this towards people who were part of the residential school system that would be more substantive um yeah. and should I talk about how I read an article today about how the whole Ooh. mass graves thing is actually fake? Is it actually fake? Is it confirmed? It's that it's not that it's confirmed. It's that the story of the mass graves itself was never really confirmed to begin with. Okay, when well, what is what is this all about then? Okay, so basically what happened was there were these observations that were done at these sites of former residential schools where they use some sort of technology. I don't know how it works basically, but it looks at, it, it, it can detect distributions of soil in the ground. Mm -hmm. And basically they looked at these sites and they found all these disruptions in the soil and said, it's possible that these disruptions are bodies. And that became, oh my God. there are mass graves, un, there are mass unmarked graves of human remains of indigenous children on these residential schools. But there has been no exhuming of bodies. There have been literally, literally no human remains that have been identified. Are you sure about this, Susie? This is blowing my mind. Like yeah why is, okay. okay it's so let me make something clear when i was reading this reporting no one was denying the numbers found by the truth and reconciliation committee so no one was denying that okay. there was a system of abuse or that there were literally thousands of children that were killed okay they're okay. saying specifically this phenomenon of finding these quote-unquote mass graves 
isn't as solid as people are making it seem. And even okay, indigenous okay. tribes are going to reporters saying, hey, don't call them mass unmarked graves because we haven't identified what these disruptions in the soil are. Okay. The experts but... in this technology say like this could be a ditch that was dug a hundred years ago, or maybe if even if it was a body, they are these so many have are the same properties as the local Catholic cemetery. So it might not even be residential school children that they were trying to hide the bodies of. It was could just be a normal cemetery, or maybe they were marked, and the graves deteriorated because they were wood back then. Mm. Okay, so wait, well, but they would still be able to find remains, some remains of that. Okay, so um, kids still died, but this might not be them. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. And we already knew kids that had died before this discovery. Yes. Of these. Okay. But this discovery just made people pay attention to it. Yes. Okay. It might be the only reason why Pope Francis came to apologize. Okay. Um, so, but if, if, if it's discovered that this was not mass graves, people are going to forget it. Like, oh, so this was all for naught, even though the factual, the fact, of the matter that the kids were still killed, I mean, died under those conditions is still real, but apparently people care less about that and more about whether or not these are the kids that died or not. It's not even that these are the kids that died or not. It's like, these are additional mm. children. So, and additional. worse, they'll even say that indigenous people are liars. Oh, okay. When really it was the media making in like not credible like using words and phrases like human remains and they're like when really when you go back to look at it if they don't know that it's human remains they can, can identify a disruption in the soil and that human soil that that disruption could be human remains but it also mm. could very easily be something else well some people might say this justifies us calling these home human remains because it's because i ended up leading to more people paying attention to it even if they weren't there were the fact that this happened wouldn't have gotten this much attention if we didn't call these human remains. Okay, well, arguments about justification are different. I feel like that's yeah. a very that's very shaky ground to start walking down. Yeah, I know, but it worked. I don't think we should encourage it. I'm not. I'm just observing facts. Oh. I'm just <laughs> I'm just making an observation. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.